Hey, hey, start of another week this week. Massive one, actually. What have we got? Speaking at two events, starting the week off in Newcastle, down to Sydney tomorrow to speak at a, uh, an investment seminar. Um, Thursday up here for another investment seminar. What we're gonna try and do is buy some more property for our beautiful clients. We're gonna meet a lot of people. We're gonna do it with a smile. Hey, so you're gonna live life. Happy yes, hey, take it easy, champ. <laughs> What is a VA? Cool. And then how we build portfolios, lots of different strategies. This is the strategy we typically use. Established property. Light me up, don't you stop. Cause tonight it's on the map. Give it the truth. I'm an, I'm an all, I'm, I'm all no BS, no BS Hendo. That's what I'm going to talk about. Okay, so yeah. What, what is really achievable, what are from a finance perspective, maybe why um, going for the cheapest interest, interest rate isn't always the best option. Yeah, and if one bank, as well. Yeah, if one bank will lend you more money, but the yeah. interest is a little bit higher, yeah. holding that better quality property over the long term is going to make you a lot more money than this lower interest rate is going to save you in the short yeah. term. Thank you. I'll just do your slide for you. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. I didn't realise this. I thought it was just I thought it was in the old block. No. Nah. Mate, these are gonna fly. Oh. I'm gonna. Yeah, bro, we're ready to go. So what I'm doing is I'm styling the the uh um, So that outdoor space right there is on title. Yes, it's yours, bro. Mate, that's mad. That is madness. Yeah. So you could have you could have an alfresco out here. The boys are over. Like imagine this, ready? Burning! My jacket's gonna be here, bro! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You got this, you're out the back here, snags, snags are on. Warm, bit of backyard cricket. I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cutter, it's out to be a lady only. Because what you're actually paying for is land value, not land content. So it's price per square meter. So the reason you'll always say they're always small blocks of apartments is because when you buy one of 12, you get one twelfth of the land. If you go look at things like the big Meritons around here, you're buying a two block of 200, you get one two hundredth of the land that sits on, right? So essentially all the money you're paying for a new build or a big, a big um, block of apartments is the apartment itself, not the land value. when people control their own incomes and they're not relying on what the economy is doing, they control what they spend on property. And your income is, is very much a massive contributor to what you can borrow. And if you're capped on what you can earn, then you're capped on what you can borrow. And if you're capped on what you can borrow, you're capped on what you can spend. It's all well and good to say, yeah, fuck yeah, let's go jump out and start a new business. Not think about things, get six months in and not turn out the way you want. Um, and then you're up shit creek. Mm. Especially if you have bills and family and all that stuff. And that's what plays on people's minds, right? They, they're so accustomed to earning an income every single week, which pays for the kids' school fees and the, the lifestyle and the house and the car and all the rest of it. And it's so hard just to go, boom, let's turn that tap off and go into a business where you're not going to earn an income straight away. Or it's, it's not going to be able to be... Um, you know, consistent because it's a brand new business. 
That is a buyer's agent. For those of you who aren't aware of how buyer's agents work, they are engaged by the buyer. The system's used really strongly internationally. It's becoming more popular in Australia. I definitely endorse it. It's professional advocacy. There's advice. It's, it's listening to your brief and it's getting to work and helping you move through that decision matrix. So uh, Jack will be talking about a few things his own journey included, but also he'll be talking about existing property, which is what they do most of. And that, that way, when I speak later, I'll speak about something that Jack's not, and I'll try and talk about something new or off the plan. So that way, getting a spectrum. And of course, Kayla Kilgore, the Queen of Finance in Newcastle, will be speaking in the middle there and breaking out some up to dumb blokes, and you'll get in the middle there and sort everything out. So speak for yourself. Please welcome Jack Henderson. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Test it. There we go. We're on. We're on. All right. Um, so like Mark said, I, um, I'm a buyer's agent. I head the investment division with Trelease Associates. Um, and essentially, what I do is I help people build property portfolios, whether those people have one, two, three, up to 10 or 20 properties. So it's a, a massive, massive range. What we do is we, we act on behalf of the buyer yes. and whether that be for a family home transaction or whether that be through the process of building a portfolio over 10 years or 20 years or however long it is, we hold your hand through that process from you know, working out what you actually need because sometimes people think they need a lot more than what they really do. Um, strategy, uh, you know, sourcing the property, negotiation, all the way through to managing building and renovations and stuff like that. I, I don't necessarily see it like that. What I what I see is it's it's the, the value of the land. So let's just say you buy an apartment. Um, in, in a small block of 12 in an area like Merriweather. Essentially what you're buying is the land it sits on. You're not buying the, the airspace or the apartment itself. So, um, you know, I'd much rather have a hundred square meters. So if it's a thousand square meter block in Merriweather and you own one tenth, you know, one, one apartment in, in a block of 10, essentially you own one tenth of the land that sits on. Um, and, and it's about how much that land is worth per square meter. So a hundred square meters of land in, in Merriweather is, you know, more likely going to be worth a thousand square meters in somewhere like Maitland. So apartment and house is, is, is not really a debate. What it, what it depends on is the land it sits on and what that land's worth and how much demand there is for it. Well, one last question, mate. Do you pay your videographer OT or not? <laughs> Mate, you deserve it, you definitely well, deserve it. No, no, Jack, mate. You're supposed to be at the pub, bro. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's a wrap. Well, guys, thank you everyone for attending. Like Mark said. Uh... Ready? You do. Oh, I don't feel good without doing it myself. <laughs> guys and girls, uh, Brendan Lowbridge, Jack Henderson. In this section, we're going to debunk a common myth in property investing. And that myth is positive cash flow, passive income, and how much of an effect that really has on accelerating your property uh, journey and portfolio. Tell me how you mad at us. Who this pussy's good as fuck is tender not to wrap it up. Bitch, I'm about to block you because that shit's gonna have me acting up. Pass the blood and laugh it up and celebrate my life. I want roses when I'm living, not just roses when I die. This ain't something I was given. Had to take it, make it mine. Stay on offense, keep on winning. Gotta make it, take it mine. I got many checks, I'm swimming in it. Any sex be hitting different. Heavy chest, but if she didn't. Make it through, get me a minute. Yeah. Only thinking vertical, run the mirror.